Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing a little how-to tutorial video on how to play my rendition of the song Strawberries by Camp. This is probably one of my most requested uh, covers to do a tutorial on. You guys have been asking me for about half a year now to drop sort of an uh, explanation on how I played it. I know the video's been out for even longer than that, so I apologize for the wait. Thank you guys for waiting. I hope I'm able to do uh, as good of a, uh, you know, transposing one-to-one -one from the recording to how I played it in my cover as possible. So I don't, I won't dilly-dally too much. What basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the chords you're gonna need to play the song, and then I'm going to give you a close-up look on the exact finger picking for it because it is a finger picking song. And we'll go from there. I'll slow things down so that you can, you know, hear it at a slower tempo, and that way you can just speed the video back up to uh, hear what it would sound like normally. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your guitar and you're going to need uh, to match the tuning of the song, the key of the song, you're going to want a capo on the third fret. If you don't have a capo, that's fine. You can do it without it. Just, you know, treat it as if I didn't have a capo on. And in terms of chords, we're going to be working with these chord shapes, essentially. So we have an F major. We have a C major. We have a G major and we have an A minor. So I'm gonna put little sort of tab things here uh, with what, you know, what frets you need to press down on uh, roughly for the shape, but doing the finger picking, it's going to be a little bit different. This is just the main shape so you guys can get an idea as well. I'm also left-handed, so if you see the string things out of order, that's just because of that. Just flip it over if, uh, if you're right-handed and wanna give this a shot. So let's dive into the chords. So, for things first, before I slow things down, I'm just going to play how I played the song um, normally at normal speed uh, for my cover, and you guys can just sort of get a look at how my, how my hand looks there. Then we'll dive in and do it. We'll slow it down, break it down chord by chord, so that you guys can get a better idea of just exactly how to play it. I'll show this bit where you can see where my fingers are, and then I will show the, uh, the bottom of the guitar so you can see sort of where my fingers are picking. So, here we go. So, it sounds like this. So yeah, that, those are the four chords. That's sort of playing at normal tempo. Now let's see what I'm doing here over on this end. Down here, here's how my left hand looks while I play that, that part at normal speed. Two, three, four. So let's go back up and slow things down chord by chord. So starting with the F major chord, the main difference that they play in the song and that I play in the cover to, to get is this note here. You know when you listen to the song you kind of hear the dun 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 uh, before, and so it's important because if you're just playing a normal F major chord, you're not going to get that, that note. So what I do halfway through playing the F major shape is I'm taking my pinky right here and moving it from the third fret on the D string where it would normally be for an F major chord and moving it to the third fret on the high E string. Keeping everything else where it was before but I'm going to be moving my pinky over here to get that high note that you hear there. So instead of it sounding like you get the that you would hear in the song. So I'll slow things down and you can see the only real transition you're making is where, where your pinky's going. So. And then if we shift down here to see how my hand looks, slowing it down. Zoom in a little bit more.
Next, we have, we go from the F major to the C major. And pretty much how it looks here is you're just playing it normally. So if you were to, if you were to play it, put your, put your hand in the position where you would for a regular you know, C chord. And the only bit that you're adding is the open note on the high E. Um, so it would sound like... So yeah. So you're, you're sort of going back and forth between the notes and the C while including that open note on the high E. So it would look a little something like this. So when I'm finger picking it, whenever I play that open high E, I always play my C note on the A string at the same time to get that sort of octave going. So. Played even slower. Jumping over to the G, pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to be making the chord formation like this, um, where you're going to be putting your middle finger or whatever finger you use on the third fret of the low E and your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. So how they do it in this song is they don't put anything on the B string at first, they just pluck it open. So it sounds like this. So they're pretty much going off, 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 on, off, uh, alternating between playing the G and the B string. So it, it looks kind of like this from, from the top. So finger picking wise, my left hand looks like this. Finally, we have the A minor, which, much like with the C chord, all you're going to be doing is playing it normally, getting your hand in the formation that it would be in, and you're going to be including that open note on the high E again. So it kind of sounds like this. So you're only including the high E once, but it stands out enough to, in, the, in the song to want to point that out for you guys. So again, we'll play it a little bit slower. And we'll flip it back over here. So it, it'll be at the end here but this is sort of how my hand looks playing the whole thing. Slow down. It just repeats after you get to that it pretty much just repeats over and over again for the whole song there might be a little bit of variation in the 
recording, but in terms of how I play it, you know, let's back myself up a little bit. In terms of how I play it in my cover, which I'll link to in the bottom here, uh, so you guys can check it out for reference, um, I just sort of play that all, you know, rinse and repeat over and over and over again for the whole time. Um, so, to give you an idea, this is the whole thing, the whole part, all four chords um, in sequence repeated. I'll show you guys down here one more time. I hope this uh, I hope this is able to help you guys out. I know you guys a lot of you have been asking for this, so again, apologize for the delay, but I hope uh, this is a good sort of tutorial reference for you guys to learn how to play Strawberries by Camp uh, on your own. So. That is just about going to wrap things up um, for, for this tutorial on how to play um, Strawberries by Camp. I hope it helps you guys as much as possible. If you have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comment section and I will help you guys out as best as I can. But this, it might not be the most perfect one-to-one -one representation of the recording to you know playing it yourself. But that's the best way that I was able to interpret it from listening to it, because much like you guys, when I was trying to look up how to play it online, the references and guides and tabs and things like that weren't really the greatest. But I hope this little, you know, 10 minute or so um, tutorial really helps out. Let me know if it does. Leave a like if it does. All that stuff. And... Again, I apologize for such a large delay. I know the video's been out for a year and a half. You guys have been asking this for me for about half a year now. But now that it's finally here, I hope you guys can enjoy it and learn from it. And if, if you get the song down, I would love to see you guys play it. So, you know, let me know if you learn it, if you record it. I would love to watch it. In the meantime, I've been Bobby. You've been you. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Hope you uh, enjoy playing this song. Uh, go support Camp uh, Strawberries, all that stuff. And I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, take care.